Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have three new knives to share with you guys and gals today. They're a different genre than we normally check out, but this is a company that just upped the ante, rebranded, went a little fancier, teamed up with Best Tech. This used to be TK Pro and now it's TACCOM and we're gonna check these out in an orderly fashion. And all that's gonna start right now. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day. Now would you look at this? It comes in the fancy case. It has its own freaking case, which is very nice, very, very nice. This is the TACCOM Nighthawk version two. Would you look at it? Just look at it, and all of its Nighthawkness. Very sleek, I'm not used to checking out OTFs, and if you don't know what an OTF is, that means out the front, because that's what these knives do. Are you ready to see it? Pow, right in the kisser, literally, pow. I mean, wow, check that out. So you have a satin blade with a DLC coating, but there's different options with this. You can get the Tanto blade, a double-edged spear point, or a half serrated if that is what you like. And like I said, these are made by Best Tech. And as far as the action, it has a very strong spring. I know this isn't going to accidentally go off and it is double action. If you were to deploy it and it hits something, it immediately releases. So it's not going to punch through something. If you push the button and you're in front of cardboard, it will bounce off. It is a safety mechanism. Now this bad boy has 154 CM blade steel. It's eight and a half inches overall. It has a three and a half inch blade and the blade height is only 0.7 inches. The close length of this knife is five inches. So if you like a little bit larger OTF, this is going to probably fit your fancy. And let me give you a little look-see. We'll go all the way down and give you a good look. It does have some nice grippage, some nice grippage. Um, I don't know if you'd call that jippage, but it definitely is some grippage going up here and down here. So it does give you a nice little tactile feel on the edges. There's a look at your, your pocket clip, not deep carry. So you're able to actually get it out of your pocket and you don't have to fumble and try to reach in to get it out if you have to hurry up and open a Twinkie. But I do like the action of it. I'm starting to appreciate OTFs more. I can see the allure. I did see a lot at Blade Show and I have a new respect and understanding as to why people like automatic knives. Now this one does have some jimping, not super grabby like I'm used to or like I prefer, but it does give you a little bit of traction. And then you have some attractive holes right there. You know, nothing like some attractive holes. Hey, watch it. But here's a look at this side. It's very nice, clean blade look. And there you go, your 154 CM. So the action, it is, it is very strong. And one thing that I have learned to appreciate is the fact that you have the same ramp at least coming and going. That way it is very tactile and easy to deploy. And when I push down on the top, I get no movement. And it's my understanding, and school me if I'm wrong, that with most OTFs, you're gonna get back and forth, but not necessarily up and down. And when I push down, I'm not feeling anything. It's solid in the hand. There are no gripes as far as the ergos. It feels fantastic. And wait till you see the next one. Now, if that one was a little too large for your fancy, check this one out. You know, this one, I'm kind of thinking for myself, if I'm gonna carry an OTF, that I'm gonna want one that's not quite as large, but I'm still on the fence about it. This is the TACCOM Pro Hornet. Now look at that. I mean, just look at it. A little bit of carbon fiber action, and they did a really good job with that carbon fiber inlay. It has the same great traction, both directions on the switch. Kind of a little bit of pyramid action going there. Here's a look at this side. You have that carbon fiber going all the way up. Same style clip and you do have some room to get it out of your pocket. Now this one, you know the size of my hand. It's three and a half inches from here to here. That's the size of my hand. And here's a look at this blade, you ready? Pow, now look at that. This is what, I, for me, I'm thinking is a little more manageable. A little more get out of your pocket, open up the Oreos type deal. It is very fidgety. I, you know, I've, I've not been an OTF person, but I'm understanding the use for them. Now this blade right here has a satin finish. We'll give you a little upsy closey. This knife overall is seven inches long, has a 2.76 inch blade closed. It's only 4.25 inches. So it's four and a quarter. It's not that big. The blade thickness on this bad boy is 120 thousandths of an inch and the height is 0.68 inches. Now you can get the worn cliff or a spear point in this knife. I do like it. I like how it fits in my hand and a lot of OTFs, 
have a button up here. This one, it's on the side and I do like it. It gives me a good grip. Plus you have a little bit of grippage here, a little bit of grippage here, a little more grippage here and here. Now, wait do you see the next one. Now this one, we sized it down, right? It's a little more comfortable in my hand. It's not quite as bulky. Now check this out. This is one of their latest, I mean, one of their latest releases. And yeah, uh, you get a, I think that's a sticker. You get a sticker with it. And this one is, is nice and fresh. We're gonna break the seal. Are you ready to see it? And I kid you not, <laughs> the name of this knife is the Stubby. Would you look at it? Would you just look at the Stubby and check out that carbon fiber? I love what they did here. It's kind of contoured. It sticks up, gives it a little bit of depth and just going from one end down to the other. A little look, look, see at that carbon, the carbon fiber inlays really make it. Now you can see this fits on the inside of my hand. So it's just shy of three and a half inches holding it like this. It only weighs 2.8 ounces. And here's a look at this side. There's your pocket clip. Eh, I don't think, no, it's not reversible pocket clip, but with it being a shorter knife like this, it's a little bit thicker and it gives it, gives it a little more hand feel. You ready to see this blade? Check it out. Love it. It's a sheep's foot, a modified sheep's foot blade. Now that is right up my alley. I mean, all the way up my alley. Check it out. I mean, just look at it. This is 154 CM. All three of these are 154 CM blade steel. I love me some 154, baby. And look at that. This one has the best tech logo on it. I love this blade shape. You have a little bitty fuller up here, probably to add a little bit of looks to it. But this one, you know, I, if I'm going to grab one, I think... For me personally, because I don't have a lot of experience, I've had hundreds of knives, but only a couple OTFs. Matter of fact, I've only reviewed one OTF on the channel. So we just added three more and you know, I'm digging this. I have plenty of handle. I have plenty of grip on it. And this isn't going to take up any room. This is a fifth pocket OTF knife. I think this is some sweet action. Now, as far as I know, the only place that they, they are sold is on their website. I will put a link to their website down in the description so you can go check them out if you want to. I am totally digging how they did this, this stepping on each side. It's very grippy, but it's not aggressive. And this one kind of has a quieter sound. And look at that. It is, I mean, that is as fast as it gets. So let me know what you think about the OTS, the automatics, the out the front. Do you like any of these? Do you have any opinions? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget, Friday nights, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Oh, right. 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it, baby. Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified. And until I see you again in the chats or the live stream, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.